top 20 benefits of Moringa. When it comes to the various advantages of Moringa, it is virtually impossible to count them all. One of the plants that contains the highest concentration of nutrients is the Moringa tree, also known by its scientific name Moringa oleifera. This uh, tree is indigenous to both Africa and Asia. In this video, I am going to show you some of the amazing health benefits of Moringa. Hi guys, I'm Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I'm an endocrinologist, I'm a metabolism specialist. In this video, I'm going to talk about one of the most nutrient dense plants on the planet, Moringa. You might have heard about it before, but didn't know what all the fuss is about, right? Moringa is a tree that is native to South Asia and has been used for centuries as a natural remedy for everything from diabetes to cancer. But that's not all. Moringa is also packed with antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals that can help improve your overall health. So if you're interested in learning more about this incredible plant, listen up. Moringa leaves are naturally dried and then ground up to make Moringa powder, if you like to use it that way. It has a flavor that is reminiscent of spinach and is excellent for enhancing a variety of dishes including stews, casseroles, soups, salads, greens, smoothies, and so forth. So, 25% of the plant protein includes 9 necessary amino acids, 24% fiber, an excellent source of iron, as well as vitamin K, vitamin E, vitamin A, calcium, they're all found in this food. It's very rich in antioxidant properties as well. Because Moringa powder is a natural source of essential nutrients, it is also very bioavailable to be absorbed. This means that our bodies are able to absorb all the advantages of Moringa powder uh, much more easily than when we take some synthetic supplements, for example. So stick around so we can take a closer look at the 20 advantages of the Moringa to your health and to your appearance. Now, of course, we're going to start with anti-diabetic one, right? So Moringa has a long history of usage in traditional medicine, but more recently research has shown that it can also be an effective treatment for diabetes. It has been demonstrated to bring about a reduction in the amount of glucose in your blood. In addition to that, more recent studies have revealed that individuals who consume a diet that is abundant in these plant proteins are at a lower risk of developing type 2 diabetes. For example, the University of Eastern Finland conducted a study that lasted for 19 years and found that reducing the amount of meat-based protein consumed each day and by just adding 5 grams and replacing with protein in the plants will reduce type 2 diabetes by 18%. And Moringa contains 25% plant protein. There you have it. Good for diabetes. Number 2. Skin. Now, there is this redefining beauty from inside claim was made by a magazine called Vogue magazine. But in there, Moringa powder is not worthy in that claim. It is loaded with vitamins that are beneficial to your skin. What are they? Well, 19% of the recommended daily intake of vitamin A is in the Moringa, around 17% of vitamin E. Again, you know the vitamin A is needed for healthy and vibrant skin, and vitamin E protects your cells from oxidative stress, uh, which helps fight the indications of aging. Now, vitamin C is also important for healthy and radiant skin. So, in addition to this, the antioxidant content of Moringa is probably among the greatest of any food. It has a value of 157,000 ORAC, which means that it contains six times as many antioxidants than the berries and similar amounts of uh, antioxidant powerhouse stuff like matcha and stuff. So antioxidants are absolutely necessary for, as you know, for the protection of your body cells, the repair and prevention of damage to your cells, which in turn helps slow down the aging process of the skin over the long term. They are also useful in mitigating the consequences of oxidative stress, as well as those of the free radicals. Now, free radicals, as you remember from the previous videos, are molecules that are unstable and they can cause damage to collagen, which leads to dry skin, wrinkles, and accelerated aging, and so forth. Moringa powder is one of the first food items to ever be sold in the beauty aisle of the famous London Department Store of Liberty. This is due to the fact that the advantages that the Moringa provides to the skin are so extraordinary. Now, the third part we're going to talk about is the immunity. Now, the remarkable capacity of Moringa to strengthen the immune system is among the plant's many valuable health advantages. It is imperative 
that our immune system be kept in good shape, especially with this COVID going on. And if you want to assist our bodies in fighting off infections and illnesses, the leaves of Moringa tree is an exceptionally good source for that. Again, it has around 32% of the iron of the recommended daily intake, around 19% of the vitamin A, and both of these nutrients are really necessary for the immune system to operate normally and optimally. The potential of Moringa as an anti-cancer agent has also been subject of a great deal of research. Now, research is still being conducted, but preliminary findings suggest that Moringa leaves may have favorable effects in the fight against breast and colon cancers. Number four, muscle growth. So my young audience, my young guys, they probably are interested in this. The amount of protein found in the Moringa is extremely high for a plant. Coming in around 25% of the Moringa powder is a complete source of protein since it contains all the nine uh, necessary amino acids, which makes it super beneficial for development and maintenance of a muscle mass. Now, Moringa's high protein level makes it a very super useful vegan protein if you are staying away from the meat. And sometimes if you are a vegetarian, you may have trouble, for example, meeting your body's daily needs for uh, the amino acids and so forth. So you might try adding it to a smoothie uh, for a post or pre-workout, or you could simply just sprinkle some of it on your roasted vegetables for a simple and convenient uh, method to enhance your protein consumption if you are on a high vegetable uh, diet. Now, number five is anti-stress. Now, a study that was published in 2010 in the research of Journal of Pharmacology and Pharmacodynamic, uh, they demonstrated that the leaves of the Moringa tree contain a potent, naturally occurring adaptogen. Not familiar with the term at all? Well, herbs and plants that protect the body from the damaging effects of stress are collectively referred to as adaptogen. They have been utilized for hundreds of years in Ayurvedic and Chinese medicine, and they assist with the alleviation of tension while also enhancing the focus and endurance in the face of exhaustion. Now, according to findings of several studies, adaptogens not only assist the body in better coping with stress, but also improve both overall health and performance. Now, if you want to start the day off stress-free, I would say try replacing your morning cup of coffee, which can spike your blood sugar anyways, with a cup of mint and moringa super tea kind of thing that you may, you know, to your taste. Number six, digestion. The regular functioning of digestive enzymes is supported by this high concentration of calcium found in moringa powder, which accounts around 25% of the daily recommended value. In addition to this, it has a fiber content of 24%, which can assist or support a healthy digestive system and regular bowel movements. Because it makes you feel full for a longer period of time, it also contributes to a balanced metabolism and maybe some weight loss, and fiber can also be, again, helpful in your overall weight management. Well, the next one is, the number seven is energy. Now, Moringa is an excellent source of minerals from iron to calcium and so forth, as we discussed, both of which contribute to the maintenance of metabolism that produces energy. Now, consuming a Moringa-infused green tea smoothie or green, green smoothie, for example, first thing in the morning is a great way to start your tone for a pleasant and productive day. Number eight, vision. We all know that diabetics suffer from, you know, uh, the vision problem. So the ability to see normally and maintain healthy eyes is one of those things that, you know, everybody diabetic or non-diabetic should be granted for. And in order to keep the normal function, proper nourishment is essential. Now, Moringa has a significant amount of vitamin A, as we talked about 19% of the recommended daily intake, which actually helps maintain that healthy vision. Number nine, reduction of tiredness and fatigue. Now, again, according to Royal College of Psychiatrists in the UK, one in every five persons have unusual levels of you know, tiredness at any particular time, and one in every 10 people suffer sustained levels of fatigue. Same thing in the US. I hear from my patients all the time. A single serving of Moringa powder, which is considered to be around 10 grams or two to three teaspoons, you know, will have around iron, around 32% of your recommended daily intake, 
around 19% off the vitamin A. Again, as you know, iron is vital for the decreasing of exhaustion and fatigue in the body. And vitamin A stimulates the metabolism of iron, ensuring that a greater amount of iron is absorbed. The use of Moringa on a regular basis is a powerful and all-natural method for getting rid of the feeling of exhaustion and tiredness. Well, because it contains a high concentration of iron, again, Moringa powder is not only suitable for vegans and vegetarians, but also people who suffer from anemia. If you already have an iron overload, I would say stay away from it. If not, you know, go for it. Number 10, bones. Now, a vital component of overall health, especially when you're elderly, ensuring that, you know, you have strong bones, that they're in good condition, so you don't break bones. The leaves of Moringa are an excellent source of vitamin K, okay? And also proteins that we discussed and the calcium that your bones need. Again, they all of that contribute to the maintenance of healthy bones, especially in the older ages. Number 11, edema or swelling prevention. As you know, edema can be painful sometimes. Uh, the fluid can build up in your specific tissues, especially lower body, uh, or could be throughout the body because of the inflammation. And diabetes is inflammation, right? So Moringa's anti-inflammatory properties make it a promising treatment for preventing edema in the first place. Number 12, liver protection. We all know that fatty liver is also super common in, among diabetics and insulin resistant people. So it really helps the liver to repair the damage that is happening due to insulin resistance. Number 13, well, Moringa extracts have properties that, as we discussed, you know, preventing in the development of cancer. It does that by a substance called niazimicin. I know it's a long word, but it's a chemical that inhibits the growth of cancer cells, not just colon and breast, but other cancer cells as well. Number 15, it helps certain types of abdominal pain. Now, Moringa extracts have the potential to treat a number of gastrointestinal conditions, including ulcerative colitis, gastritis, constipation. Now, Moringa's high vitamin B content helps with digestion. It has antibiotic and antibacterial features. It helps in the prevention of a lot of uh, bacterial diseases as well. It even has antifungal properties. So again, it also defends your, you from kidney infections as well. So if a person consumes Moringa extract regularly, they may actually have a lower risk of developing kidney stones, bladder problems, uterus problems, etc. Uh, Moringa again contains a very high concentration of antioxidants, which may help reduce the kidney toxicity that can happen from high blood sugars and so forth. Number 16, lowering high blood pressure levels. Moringa contains the chemicals called isothiocyanate and niazimidin. Both of them help with preventing the artery stiffening or hardening, which can lead to increase in blood pressure, especially as we get older. Number 17 is treatment of mental health issues. Well, they can be a little complicated or tricky to treat, but Moringa is thought to be beneficial in the treatment of depression and anxiety as well. Number 18 is asthma management again asthma can be very tricky as well but if you're using moringa it may help prevent uh, bronchial constriction and reduce the severity of asthma attacks uh, moringa may also help in reducing the severity of asthma attacks so you know there is evidence that it can ha help improve the lung function and general breathing as well so it's worth a try number 19 now, maintaining heart and vascular system. Isn't that the most important thing we are trying to do because diabetes is almost equal to a heart disease, right? So Moringa extract, because of the antioxidants, research suggests that it may help prevent the heart damage and has been shown to keep heart healthy, although it's not the only thing, of course, as you know. Number 20, skill cell disease. That's a rare group of people, but it's not uncommon, especially in African-American population. Uh, Moringa may help uh, body absorb the iron, resulting in an increase in the number of total red blood cells in a, in a person, especially anemic. So uh, the extract from the plant is thought to be very beneficial in the treatment of anemia, uh, as well as even prevention of skill cell disease, although it is genetically inherited, but it can help prevent the severity. So that's it for today. I hope you learned something about Moringa today. And if you did, please give a thumbs up, a like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.